Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, we're going to take a look at a person you're not in communication with and see what they're thinking or feeling, how they might be viewing you, and any possible future action that they may take towards you. And then we'll also get some advice from Spirit. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Geminis, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right. So it looks like you might be dealing with somebody here who's got a blocked throat chakra. Somebody may have ghosted. They may have also lied or been deceitful. They're definitely not communicating. Ooh, Gemini, they're viewing you as the Four of Cups. And their possible future action is the Two of Wands. Okay, so this person is really taking a look at what they can do here, trying to make a decision about communicating. We do see the Two of Cups, so we do see that this is a strong soulmate connection. But let's get into this. Let's see what's going on with them. So the Ace of Swords, this person's avoidant. This person's not talking. They may have been deceitful. They may have lied to you. Um, and like I said, for some of you, they may have ghosted you or just cut off all communication. Why do we have the Ace of Swords here for my dear Geminis, please? Ooh, the Three of Swords. Wow, this person, Gemini, be careful. Some of you, this person may have put you in a third party situation. You may or may not know that. Or this person is way more heartbroken than you might realize about whatever has happened between the two of you. And we see the Queen of Wands in reverse. Careful, Geminis. A lot of you, this person either has somebody else or had you in a third party situation. All right. And some of you may know that or may have known that. But to me, this is absolute confirmation. Four of Cups energy tells me that they're viewing you as not giving to this connection. They're seeing you as not emotionally available. And I can see why you wouldn't be emotionally available to this person because it looks like they lied to you. It looks like they ghosted and it looks like they've got some sort of third party around them. But they also feel like if they were to reach out that you may reject them. Wow, they're starting to see you differently, Gemini. And I think they're seeing you differently because, because, you're, not, because you're not giving to this connection. Maybe they were hoping you would chase them. I'm also getting it's possible, Gemini, this person was trying to make you jealous. This person also might feel like you, maybe you did catch them with a third party. And if you, if you don't have confirmation, I think this person feels like, feels like maybe you will, or you did catch them. They're not sure if you know about this third party or not, Gemini. And we get the high priestess. Wow. Cancer Pisces energy. Gemini, this person is seeing you as very intuitive. They're seeing you as also a force to be reckoned with. To be honest, I feel like they're a little bit worried about the karma they've generated here with you because it's almost like I'm getting this energy of they're seeing you as very spiritually protected and they know they didn't do right by you. They also know this was a soulmate connection that they sabotaged. I think your person's a little bit worried, Gemini, that like they're going to reap some negative karma here for what they've done or how they've behaved. The High Priestess tells me, too, that they also find you very elusive, very attractive, um, because, it, because you're not giving to them. You're not giving to this situation. They see you very, very spiritual, Gemini. They might even be dreaming about you. I feel like this person's looking over their shoulder, and not because they think that you're, gonna, you're like hunting them down or anything like that, but it's like I feel like this person's expecting to get some sort of like bad karma because of the way they've treated you. Two of Wands, this person's... This person, I feel like, too, is maybe having friends, maybe even family members, like, check up on you and see, like, if you know what they're doing or know. It's like this person, even if they do have a third-party situation going on, it's like you, you are really, like, you're all over their energy, if that makes sense. We see the sun card. All right, there's going to be illumination. There's going to be growth. You're going to get the truth about what happened here. Because a lot of you, I feel like they, they left you hanging, and they know that. They definitely, there's third-party energy around them. If it's not a romantic rival, and for most of you, it really truly is, and I know those aren't easy messages to hear. Could be a family member or friends that didn't approve, but you're going to get the truth here. It's like they're going to come out. It's almost like I feel this person might feel they need to come clean with you 
I don't know if they're having nightmares or something, Gemini. And we get the Empress energy in reverse, yeah. You're going to find out that there's a third party. You know, I know these aren't easy messages, Gemini, but it's so clear with the Empress energy there, Taurus and Libra energy. You know, if they weren't if they weren't introducing you to friends and family, if they were kind of keeping this connection hidden, there was always a third party. They're worried you're going to find out or that you know. Ten of Wands, this person's got a lot of burdens here. And I can see why, Gemini, because they feel like messing with you, they're messing with the universe. Like, I don't know if they know that you're very spiritually protected, but I think they realize they kind of they kind of messed up here big time. All right, let's see. What, what does this person want to say to my Geminis, please? What does this person want to say to my Geminis, please? This is at the ego level. I want to feel that way again. Yeah. For some of you, though, there was like a thrill um, or like a daredevil type energy because this person may be married or like be in another connection. All right. So just be aware of that. Lots of ego energy here for sure. But they, they're definitely missing you. I'm starting to understand our connection. I feel like they're getting like serious signs and synchronicities from the universe. Again, I'm, I'm seeing somebody who's like afraid, afraid of, of the karma that they're, they've reaped. Okay. The, so, uh, the seeds that they've sown by, by effing you over, Gemini. Sorry for my language. And I lost myself for a little while. This person might try to come back around and tell you the truth. I almost feel like they, they might need to. And I will wait for a sign from you. So this person wants you to chase. This person wants you to come towards them. Mm, Geminis, be very careful here. Very, very careful. With the two of cups, though, I can see that it was or it is a strong soulmate connection, but it feels very karmic in nature. But let's see, what do they want to say to you, their future self or their higher self? What does this person want Gemini to know, their higher self or future self? I regret my past mistakes and wish I could have another chance with you. Mm -hmm. I'm still healing. Yeah, this person hurting you has hurt them has hurt them even more. That's what I'm hearing. And and that's not to be like make an excuse or be apologetic for the way they've treated you because for for a lot of my gems it's it's a very deep betrayal here. And sorry I didn't see your worth and value when we were together. Yep. That's true. They didn't, but they're definitely seeing it now. They're seeing you differently. They're seeing you as divinely protected. This person, I just keep getting like somebody like, I don't know if I'm seeing like nightmares that they're having, but that like the way they've treated you, like they're very worried about the karma that they've generated. And I wish I could have been emotionally available to let you in. Okay, so this could be a pattern this person has. What are the lessons here that my Geminis need or needed to learn from this connection? Or what else do they need to know here, please, spirit? Yeah, this, this person was your, your energetic match. But again, they, they made decisions. They took actions that lowered their vibration. There was potential for this two of cups, for it to be beneficial and balanced where you had the same feelings, ideals, values, and shared goals. So Geminis, don't gaslight yourselves. The energy, the soulmate connection here was here. Okay, this person, excuse my language, effed up big time. Yeah, for some of you, it might be a twin flame connection, but regardless of the label we give it, you know, it doesn't, there's no excuse to allow somebody to mistreat us or to stay in a situation or hold on to a situation that's no longer mutual or symbiotic. And Spirit's telling you, get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. Because I do feel like there's something really hard for my gems out there to reconcile because I feel like the love was here. The connection was really strong. This is twin flame soulmate type energy. This person messed up. Spirit wants you to know that accepting yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance open to flow. Yeah, I, it's it's about accepting that this this... The situation is what it is, Gemini, but liberate yourself. Be open to, you know, to course correct, all right? Be open to other options. Be open to letting this person go, no matter how strong the connection may have been. The messages are very clear. I know they're not easy for a lot of you, but we do need to hear this. Look at this Ten of Wands. Look at these two cradling each other. I can see why this is hard to let go. That almost just brought tears to my eyes because this person, they messed up. They know they did. They know they did. Okay. And I, like, I keep getting this energy of them like kind of running through a dark forest. <laughs> you know, and I don't mean to laugh about that, but I, see, I keep getting this energy like they know they're, they're, there's some karma here that they've generated. 
they know they made a mistake. <clears throat> All right, let's see, final messages. This is a new Oracle deck, so I'm gonna read from the book, it's beautiful. We get the portal number 12, so take a look at this fairy. Mm. The message from this fairy is um, she welcomes us into a beautiful blue spiral of ups, downs, twists, turns, and magic. This is the dance of life. The portal celebrates the sacred circle of the solar system and the beautiful ring of Mother Earth's dance with the sun and the moon. Yeah, see, this was sun and moon type energy here. We have the sun coming out. We also have the moon there with the high priestess energy. Never to be outdone, this night fairy's totem, a toad, reminds us to dive deep into beautiful bliss and relish in the mystery of it all. Wonderful journey, highs and lows, new opportunities, wheel of fortune. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of my gems, you've been left feeling a little bit miffed and confused about this connection because the intensity is here. But this person made choices that lowered their vibration and they sabotaged the soulmate connection. So spirit is telling you that this is like wheel of fortune energy. Like it's time, it's time to move forward. Um, there's divine intervention here and be open to new opportunities. All right. I don't think this is the last you've heard from them, Gemini, but I do feel like it's important to release this connection. All right. Tough messages, I know. I'm sending you lots of love and light. If they resonate, these messages, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Geminis. Take care.